we are going on a horse ride through Gettysburg. Yes, we're on Pickett's Charge, a little round top and all that stuff. Even though I saw I'd never get on a horse again, but let's see what happens. Still have New Mexico. Let's see if there's a pony. Maybe they can put me on a pony. I would feel a lot better on that. Full disclosure, I am a little nervous. Last time I was on a horse, I swore I'd never get on a horse again. But here we are. Last time you were on a horse, you got engaged. That's probably what you're afraid of. <laughs> no, funny. No, I, it was, first of all, that other horse was way too big for us. Built out our online reservations for this. I wrote that I'm like just five feet tall and like 110 pounds. Yeah, Fidge. Ribbed, just a little bit. Minor. Let's see what they're doing. Hey, beautiful. Hi. Are you gonna be my horse? I'll give you counter pressure. And Carl is a bit of a blonde barrel with a mane and tail. Are you gonna hang in there? Put your left foot up. Step up. Turn that right leg over. Okay. Cool. Okay, you're going to giraffe. Come and mess it down. I can't even get the music. You want just your toes in, right behind your toes, right there. You don't want your whole. You good, Red? This exciting ride was narrated the entire ride by a certified Gettysburg battlefield expert. Its course took us along the historic route of Pickett's Charge. Carl's self-driving. <laughs> he doesn't really need me. I think he's got this. The information we learned along the way showed us everything from the topography and how it played its part in the battle to the fences that you see along the right-hand side. These fences played a pivotal role. They originally were marking out properties and animal pens. They became impediments to the soldiers on the attack and retreat and needed to be overcome to progress. Union Veteran Army Monuments. The experience of riding a horse through the Gettysburg battlefield was one that I will never forget. It was an amazing experience. Our expert battlefield guide provided us with countless amounts of information on the course of the battle, the direction that things went, how things became the way they were based on the land, based on the circumstances, and how the war went, changed our overall view and experience on the battlefield. The wooded area you see is where the Confederate Army was massing. It also served as the escape route when the retreat took place. Whoa. Whoa. Easy, Carl. Someone's riding the spirit. Come on, Carl. Is it my picture? Yeah.
Yeah. <laughs> well, shaky. Thank you. Extremely shaky. Thank you, Stuart. Hi. What are you looking for? <laughs> the horse did all the work. Oh, my God. Okay, he got me back on the horse. I don't think I'm doing it again, though. That's not true. When we go out to Mexico or Colorado or somewhere like that, we'll have to ride horses again. Oh, my God. My, I guess what I'm most scared of is getting on the horse and then this man mounting the horse. And then while I'm on it, I guess I got a little more, uh, I don't want to say comfortable. I was never actually comfortable, but it was pretty cool. It was a great way to experience the battlefield. Unforgettable. Yeah. Yes. The best part about riding horses is whenever she trips, stumbles, or goes to fall, she screams out, whoa. And one woe is no big deal. Two woes, a little more dangerous. When we get to three woes, usually someone ends up on the ground. So when you're riding a horse, it's all right, because the more you yell woe, the more they stop. So it works out. Yeah. That's I a good code that word. Times. Yeah. But I only got as far as one woe. Yeah. No, it was pretty good. It was a lot of fun. It was definitely a uh, adventure seeing the, from horseback on the battlefield, something you don't get to do every day.